the highlight of my week. I thought all the auditions were just canceled for now. Baby. It really makes my heart ache. Hey, Amanda. <laughs> I will stop now. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a weekly vlog. Haven't said those words in a while, in a hot minute. I'm just gonna sit down for a bit. This will probably be one of the most boring weekly vlogs you've ever seen, but because I share my life here, I thought I'd share what my life is like right now. It's Monday the 20th. Today was payday. I got my paycheck from last month. I am gonna go uh, grocery shopping. I try to go gro grocery shopping um, like once max twice a week. I have to buy food for this week, snacks for um, my Skype sleepover with Amanda that we have on Wednesday. We have a project of re-watching all the Twilight movies. I'm gonna Skype with Lore today because it's Monday and that is literally the only thing that hasn't changed about my life. Tomorrow I actually have to leave the house because I have a meeting with my therapist and I have to go into town which makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong. And yeah, that's pretty much all my plans for the week. Oh, Chris McCarroll's live is at 3 a.m. on Friday and I'm gonna wake up for that. That's the highlight of my week. Now I'm gonna tidy my room because there is a lot of clutter everywhere and I haven't even made my bed. It's midday. That is literally one of the only things I have to do today. <sighs> Time to journal and sit down for a while and watch. Lucy Woods, home vlog. Hey. Oh. I don't know why she comes into my room, but I'm not complaining. Baby. Clever. Clever. Yo. A few moments later. I'm making a grocery list, um, and I went downstairs to check what do I need to write on it. I started coming back upstairs. And I saw Armi um, following me and then she turned back and grabbed her toy and now she's here with the toy. <laughs> You're so adorable. <laughs> hey, hey, please, please. to the grocery store now. I am gonna take a little bit of a longer walk so I can get a couple of steps in and just a bit of fresh air. I really want to do like a little grocery haul thingy, but everyone, not everyone, half of my family was in the kitchen. I couldn't do it there, so I brought all of my, all of my um, food that I just bought into my room. And now I have it laid out on my bed, and after this, I will have to bring it back downstairs. Mm, yeah, this is for about a week. I bought some spinach. I've been recommended to get more iron. I have an iron supplement, and a while ago I was called by a doctor and he told me to uh, put more spinach into my diet. I also bought some lettuce, royal gala apples. I got some cherry tomatoes. We are out of peanut butter. I had to get some more. To go with my iron supplement, <laughs> I got some apple, uh, apple juice, orange juice. The supplement tastes horrible. Absolutely hate it. I just chug some orange juice to wash down the the taste of it. Also, it has vitamin C, which you need for iron to actually, I don't know, sink in, actually do something. Then I got my favorite oat coffee drink. This is expensive, but it's so good that I just keep buying it. I was supposed to also buy soy milk, but I forgot because I like soy milk with my smoothies, but this with coffee. Then we have more of like foodie bits. My favorite cheese for my morning toasts. Some chickpeas, um, some oat, uh, 
like cooking cream. These, which are my favorite thing. <laughs> um, I love making like a Lady in the Tramp meatball sauce with these, but they're not meat. Then some spagoots, a lot of spagoots. Oatly, um, oat fresh. I'm pretty sure this is like a vegan version of a sour cream. And then this is my favorite dip to go with it. And I will use that for my salad today. I make like a salad dressing out of it. This brings so much nostalgia because I used to eat this pesto sauce in England when I lived there. It's amazing and it's quite cheap for a vegan pesto sauce. Then this. <laughs> oh, I got myself some cinnamon buns. You're, you're looking at two different kinds of chips, am I right? Yes. These are for snacking when I have the sleepover with Amanda, but these are for my salad. I love making this extreme like nacho salad thing and it's so good. I'll be making it today and I'm, I'm so excited because I like crunch these into it and then I have some of my holiday dip mix dressing and it's mwah, amazing. And then some wine because I love wine. If you're under 18, don't drink. <laughs> but yeah, I just found a new favorite last week. It's this Bird's Tree white wine. It's quite sweet. I actually have some left, but I got this as like a backup. Quarantine! You need to have a backup wine. I will have a drink or two on Wednesday when I'm having my sleepover and eating my, my chips and the pizza that I got as well. You saw me grabbing it from the shelf. This is everything I bought from the grocery store this time. Oh yeah, and here's the receipt of of my shoppings. Everything came to be around 35 euros. There's a lot of things I could have left in the store, but did I? Nope. And then the wine was 8 euros, um, which I don't think is bad either. Pretty happy with that. And pff, come on, it was my payday today, so it's fine. Hello again, it's been a while. Honestly, there hasn't been a lot to talk about because I watched some America's Got Talent while eating um, my huge salad. And then I came upstairs, laid here on my bed and scrolled through my phone for a bit and now I've been on Tumblr. Hello, um, I'm dating you. I haven't been doing anything. It's now um, 7.30 and I'm gonna go and take a shower. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Good morning. So I'm gonna see my therapist today and I'm gonna help my friend Julo with a school project that is a Skype interview video thingy and it's about Netflix and binge watching. <laughs> also, super exciting. Um, last night my friend Chelsea sent me a message last night about an online audition for Shanghai, for Shanghai Disney. I didn't know there was gonna be one. I thought all the auditions were just cancelled for now, but there is an online audition for Shanghai going on, and I will definitely do that. I've been struggling so much with just knowing that I won't be able to do any auditions. I've been kind of trying not to think about it too much because <sighs> it's tough because I want that to be my future. But now I'm literally there is just this new energy right now and I'm I'm just feeling so excited. Just knowing I have this chance, this opportunity to just work on something and actually work on my dream is so exciting. This is really not the best representation of me on a quarantine week because now I'm excited and I haven't been excited and I thought I could show you like a real quarantine week with me and now I'm like buzzing, like actually happy and I haven't been that for the past some weeks. <laughs> Knowing I have this chance to put my name and my face out there is making me so happy. Really don't have anything else to say right now. I'm gonna do my makeup and hang out and then I'll, I'll leave to see my therapist. Later. Hello again. Um, just came home. It felt really weird to be in town. I felt like I wasn't supposed to be there. Um, I'm glad I don't have to go there until three weeks from now. While in town, I picked up a fabric for my Anna cosplay. I was so surprised that the fabric shop was open. I found this like fall leather. I'm working on Anna 
Frozen 2 cosplay. It's gonna be the main adventure outfit and this is gonna be for the belt. Um, there's quite a lot of it, but I am prone to mess up. So at least I have, I have some backup. Now I'm waiting for my pasta water to boil and so I can make some pesto pasta and then I can um, watch a movie. One of the channels that we pay for um, is showing Boy Erase that I I heard about it some time ago when it was like premiering and I was like, ooh, I kind of want to see that and now it's gonna be on that channel. So I think I'll watch that. Um, then around seven when the movie ends, I have that video interview thingy with Julu. My day has been very, actually, like I'm actually tired. Mainly probably because I've been in town and I felt really guilty for being in town even though I was there for a reason, but it still felt, I, I just felt wrong. And I'm so happy I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> That wasn't an easy movie to watch. I low-key want to cry because I don't want anyone to go through anything like that ever. But knowing how many people go through that, it really makes my heart ache. Watched Boy Erased, which is a movie based on a uh, an autobiography, I think, by, I can't remember his name, who had to go to controversial therapy because he was gay. If you haven't noticed, I am a very empathetic person. Movies like that, especially when I know that they're true, it's it's hard. <laughs> but also that was very eye-opening. It was good to watch. But yeah, I'm completely fine. That movie just made me really emotional and, and kind of sad because so many people have to go through like that and they have to live with people who don't accept them as who they are and i never ever want any of my friends any of my family any of my future family to be afraid or ashamed of who they are i, I really do mean it like i'm super serious about this i just want you all to know that this is a very safe place for all of you whoever you are whoever you love this is a safe place. To a completely different topic, I made myself a cup of tea and now I'm gonna have that Skype, Skype call with Julo about her school thingy. Yay! Hello! <laughs> the best thing to wake up to is your mom coming to your door and saying there's a little bit of coffee left so good morning well, let's get started with this day <laughs> hello, hello oh hey there we go i pretty much look the exact same as yesterday but i don't have makeup and instead of jeans i'm wearing workout pants i'm pretty sure i've strained my voice my throat feels very tight and the muscles feel tight it's not like a sore throat so I'm trying to be as quiet as possible which is really hard because I love making noise I'm just gonna try and be as quiet as I can until this evening it's now 1 p.m. and I'm gonna work on my Disney CV I'm gonna listen to the Little Mermaid Broadway musical um, recording on Spotify while I'll do that I don't have any plans till I'm hanging out with Amanda tonight, but I'll get this CV done. I'll do a, a stretching workout. Stretching is like one of my favorite things to do. These days, you've seen me do more this week than I've been doing for the past two weeks. Updated my Disney resume, so that is ready and I'm happy with it. And now I'm just thinking when I'll take the photos, when to film the videos, because one of the videos is a clip of you performing. I don't have anything ready so I have to like, I have to choreograph a piece. Just talked to my parents about a little clip from La La Land that I really like. That could be easy-ish to choreograph in the way that I want because I want to show as much of my skills in a short amount of time without it being too chaotic. I'll think about it and I have to decide soon-ish because I have to like choreograph it and then practice it so it's like really good and then film it. Now I'll do my stretches because I haven't done that yet.
it is 6 p.m. and I haven't eaten in like six and a half hours. Stupid me. So I'm gonna go downstairs and make myself one of those crazy taco sal taco taco salads nacho nacho salads. That's the word. As you can see, I'm much cozier now. It's a couple hours later, and now I'm ready to start the Skype sleep. <laughs> Skype sleepover with Amanda. Uh, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. So, hey, Amanda. <laughs> Are you ready for this sleepover? I am ready. I'm to sorry. Watch new moon. New moon. New moon. Uh, this is our project. We're gonna watch all the Twilight movies. We watched Twilight like the first one last week, and that was. We spent like, I don't know, almost an hour going through Netflix and our best idea was What's Twilight? Alright, we're ready. We both have the same pizza, which is the best pizza in the world. Yes! And I have wine. I am drinking ginger joe, which is alcoholic ginger beer. Do you want to tell our things that we have to drink too? So we have whenever Bella hallucinates the back now, her, one of the wolves from the Quillity uh, wolf pack makes a reference to being a wolf while in human form, so if they growl or howl. Our favorite from last week, which is whenever Jasper looks like Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> Oh, actually, I still have my snacks. Wait, 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 chips. <laughs> that looks a lot better. Well, <gasps> there she is. Life in quarantine be like. I do be like that. <laughs> New Moon? Such a bad movie. It was quite boring, wasn't it? Oh yeah, we could not concentrate for half of it. I can't- but I think we can agree that Stan Alice. We Stan Alice and Carlisle Cullen. Mwah. Except yeah. he keeps on wearing that ugly ass scarf. He's got like this nice. I don't care. Puts on that ugly ass scarf. I don't care. He's beautiful and he's so nice. He's so kind. That's where Alice comes into play and is the fashion icon. Good morning, my friend. Good morning, Amanda. This is the earliest I've woken up in. I can't even remember. I woke up at 9 a.m. My family was talking really loud downstairs, so. How are you feeling today? I almost said all in a <laughs> She's tired, but in Estonian. Because it's funnier. Also, I'm so sorry. My lip is swollen and it looks disgusting, but I can't do anything about it, so just like so ignore sorry. it. You're still beautiful. Thank you. Yes. She says that because she's my best friend. Good morning, Army. <laughs> oh. Hey, Gertu. What right. sports do you play? I have dance and go to art class. Sports? Or is there sports? No, art class. <laughs> Thank you. It's been such a such a fun sleepover. Next week we watch Eclipse. Eclipse is the best Twilight movie. I think Eclipse and Breaking Dawn Part Two are the best ones. I'll chat with you on WhatsApp very soon. <laughs> Just ended the sleepover with Amanda, and now I'm gonna read. Uh, a letter that Laura sent me. I'm so excited to open this because I didn't remember that she sent me a letter And then I'm gonna go and take a very long walk and I'm gonna start thinking about the choreography for the Disney online audition as well
is what I call post-shower PJ fashion. I must admit, I don't even know it was the last clip I filmed. <clears throat> I'm clearly also losing my voice. <laughs> I just ate a snack downstairs with my family and now I have a cup of tea. And I know none of you will believe me when I say that it's not even 10 p.m. but I'm slowly starting to get ready for bed. For the past three weeks, I've woken up at 3 a.m. on Fridays to listen to Chris McCarroll read the first Percy Jackson book on an Instagram live. Chris McCarroll is a Broadway actor who played Percy Jackson in the Lightning Thief Percy Jackson musical. I adore him, he is such a talented person and he's so funny and he's just a perfect guy to read Percy Jackson. I've been really enjoying those lives, I don't even mind waking up at 3am to listen to those. I know it sounds crazy but that's me, I'm crazy. I'm kind of slowly starting to get ready for bed. Um, now I'm just gonna sit down and journal and watch some YouTube and then I'm gonna go to bed and read. So I'll say goodnight already but I'll see you very soon. One eternity later. I know I look a little cray cray, but I just got my hair down from the buns. It's Friday and it's like 2 p.m. But I haven't been doing anything today. I got up at 11 because, well, I was really tired from getting up during the night to watch the live stream, but it was really good. I'm gonna link the drive folder that he has put up of all the readings so far in the description box. So if you wanna listen to that, that is an option. I was supposed to film a video today, but I'm just really not feeling it. Come on. Hey. I just decided that today I'm just gonna finish the choreography for the audition. Yeah, that's that's my plans for today. Come on, cuddle me. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I'm still here, still doing this choreography. I'm like almost halfway through. I wanna get it ready today. And that, my friends, that is some hard work, but it's a lot of fun and I'm already learning it like, I'm learning what comes after what because I'm making it. But yeah, now I'm just gonna hang out on Tumblr for a bit because I just need to just, like, wind down. In 15 minutes, I'll, I'll continue with the choreography. <laughs> Few moments later. I am absolutely sweating. I got 4 or 52 seconds done. I will stop now because I'm actually so exhausted. I've been basically dancing for like five and a half hours. Jesus Christ. Of course I've had breaks. I'm pretty proud of myself. I haven't choreographed a lot in my life. I don't have to put this together, but I really want to have a piece for them where I can show the main things I can do, my strength with ballet and then how high I can kick and what jumps I can do. So that's why I'm not taking just some random choreography off, off the internet or doing some of one of the audition choreographies that I've done in the past. I'm, I'm doing completely something that is me because I want to see show them who I am. It's a good thing. It gets my creative mind working. Now I'm gonna shower and then I have a Zoom hangout with friends and I think I'm just gonna Keep doing my Anna cosplay. She came to wake me up. Or she just came to sleep in my bed. You can guess from the setting that I just filmed a video. Finally. Did this makeup look that ended up looking like? I'm trying to be like a fashion clown. Just reminds me of... <laughs> of, the, of the looks that the brats did in the... Bratz the movie, you know, the the live-action Bratz movie. There, There's a scene where they're like fashion clowns and I feel like this is like, this is like a fashion clown look. <laughs> the worst vlogger for the past two days. I have and my battery isn't even charging. Well, 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 look at that. My current obsession is say yes to the dress. And well, I'm just eating my lunch, which is a chia pudding porridge thingy. And I'm hanging out with these two. I'm so happy. The football field close to my house is completely empty. I can go and practice and finish my dance. I didn't actually finish it yet. Before this week, I clearly haven't vlogged in a while because 
I keep forgetting that I'm vlogging because I'm not really doing anything. I don't feel like I should show what I'm doing. I ran out of battery when I was outside. I know I should be practicing the choreography. I should be working on it. I should be doing something about it. But I'm just really exhausted and I'm in a bit of pain from yesterday from dancing so much. I practiced it for maybe like an hour. I still have 15 seconds to fill in the end. <laughs> but I, I just decided to call it a day. I just need some time off right now. I roughly edited the video I just filmed today. And now I'm I'm hungry and I'm gonna go downstairs, make some pasta and... I'm thinking I'm, I'm just gonna watch an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I can't be the only person who, who doesn't know how much of spaghetti is enough. Let's hope this is enough for two servings. Also, I can't be the only person who eats pre-dinner snacks. That's goals. That's, that's why I do my handstands, so I can do handstands at some point and then that later i've been feeling really stiff today like my legs are super stiff from yesterday so i'll i'll do a 30 minute stretch video and and see how i feel after that <laughs> that was so good honestly made a huge difference my legs feel a lot better if you haven't stretched in a while this is your time till the end of this video do your stretches as you can probably tell by this absolutely fabulous look and this stunning light um it's much later i don't know i've been feeling really restless this evening and just lonely and stressed it's a little funny because i live with three other people and these two but yeah i've been feeling stressed it's probably about the audition and getting the choreography done and making it look nice even though i know it doesn't really matter but still i'm that kind of a person i want to make beautiful things this all will be okay when i send the audition stuff but yeah i'm gonna go downstairs make myself some tea sit down for a bit and then i'm gonna go to bed Exactly a year ago, the song Me by Taylor Swift and Brendan Yuri came out and I can't believe I had this song for a year. It's insane. Those two, they're just huge inspirations to me and I was wishing for them to collab for months and then this bomb dropped and thank goodness I filmed a reaction video to the song release because it's still the cringiest video on my channel but it just really shows how freaking excited i am about this and i think i need to watch it because it's it, it's so cringy it's so meme worthy like i can't even see that's me i remember i almost fainted because i couldn't breathe <laughs> properly the most like intense fangirl moment i've ever had i don't know what the announcement <laughs> that you promised to make My plan was to practice the dance as much as I can today, but I need I need space for it. And it looks like it could rain. So I'm not gonna go outside and practice it, at least not yet. Um also I'm just feeling still just not not great, but I don't wanna push it too much because I still wanna enjoy it. So instead I have an early dinner and you guessed it, I'm gonna watch another episode of Buffy. Lately, it's really getting to me. This is so wild. This is the first post um, where Taylor noticed my Tumblr and me. And yeah, I, I found it again. It's, it's insane. She liked this and then she followed me. It was on November 11th in 2014. Right after Blank Space, the music video had dropped and I just realized that there is a typo in this post as well. It, it's supposed to say, I love how the got along list of ex-lovers land is shown in the music video. Did you notice all the paintings on the walls in the hallway when Taylor was putting the new one there and in the end breaking it? I think that's genius. And and then then she, she liked it. And then, yeah, she followed me. This is insane. I keep checking these kind of things 
every now and then just to make sure that I wasn't crazy. <laughs> oh, 2014 was the time, honestly. I came out to dance, but now it's raining. It's finally ready. I'm not the happiest with the ending, but it's an ending. This is probably my millionth clip filmed while sitting at my desk. Now, semi soon, I guess I should be doing a video call with a couple of my friends. Quarantine is just like going for a little walk, then coming back inside and doing a million video calls and then eating and then video calling again. <laughs> a few moments later. I just woke up to the realization that I'm, st I'm still vlogging. What you just didn't see was the, f the video call I had with a friend group and working on some more audition stuff. I must say I haven't had a great day today. It definitely helped to go outside and dance and then do that video call with my friends. But um, yeah, today hasn't been my day, but that's okay. The most important thing to focus on is that I, again, this day is almost over. Like, I did it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here because I really am not gonna do anything else this evening. Like I said, I'm just gonna change into my pajamas, journal, go and make myself some more tea, then I'll go to bed. I'll be reading a little bit of my Walt Disney um, biography. I highly recommend learning more about Walt Disney because he's such an interesting person. Even before reading this, I knew a lot, but I definitely didn't know a lot. And this one, this book is by Bob Thomas. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. Hope this video has been interesting even somehow. Stay home, stay safe. Only then this can pass. We can do this. I believe in you and I'll, I'll see you next week. Bye!